Well, tonight, 10 Investigates is keeping a close eye on the money trail and where the cash flow begins and ends. Chief investigative reporter Bennett Haberly tells us it starts with those power plants. Just two years ago, these nuclear power plants were in danger of closing. In fact, in April of 2018, this court transcript obtained by 10 Investigates shows attorneys for First Energy noted the company was preparing a deactivation process that would shut down its nuclear power plants in Ohio by 2021. House Bill 6 that passed a year later provided the company with a billion dollar bailout, saving the plants from closing. But federal prosecutors say the path was paved with bribes. Speaker Householder, what do you have to say to Ohioans? Not at this time. Now House Speaker Larry Householder and four other individuals are charged with racketeering, accused by federal prosecutors of accepting $60 million from First Energy to secure not only votes needed to pass House Bill 6, but defeat a ballot referendum aimed at overturning the bill. It's not a complete surprise, but I think what really surprised me reading the complaint that was filed um, yesterday was just the extent to which First Energy Corps itself is implicated um, as being the source of that like $60 million. Dave Anderson is with the Energy and Policy Institute, one of several watchdog groups that have been reporting on the connection between First Energy and Generation Now, a dark money group that the Fed say was controlled by Householder and his associates. In March, Anderson's group was the first to report on this, a financial statement filed in bankruptcy court that were part of First Energy's restructuring plan. It shows a $1.8 million transfer from First Energy to Generation Now on July 5th, 2019. House Bill 6 passed two weeks later. That million dollar payment that we documented turned out to be just the tip of the iceberg. The criminal complaint against Householder and others shows a series of payments sent from First Energy to Generation Now from March of 2017 through March of this year. Money the Fed say not only personally benefited Householder and others, but was used to help secure the passage of HB6. Make no mistake, these allegations are bribery, pure and simple. This was a quid pro quo. This was play, pay to play. Bennett Haverly, 10 Investigates. Well, 10 Investigates again reached out to First Energy asking if they expect to be criminally implicated or how did they not know that these payments amounted to alleged bribes. A spokeswoman said she didn't have anything to provide beyond their statement yesterday. That statement said that they had received subpoenas and planned to cooperate. Householder didn't return our calls today. We did reach attorneys for Neil Clark and Juan Cespedes, but are also charged. They're also charged in the case. We were told by their attorneys that they may have more to say in the coming days.